In my game, I have three types of damageable objects, a barrel, a boss, and a zombie. When I hit any of these, their health decreases. Let's dive into how the code makes this work. In my player script, whenever I press the left mouse button, it triggers an attack function. The code creates an overlap sphere from the player's attack point, which checks if it collides with any of these damageable objects. If it does, we loop through each collided object to see if it has a specific script, either for the zombie, boss, or barrel. Each of these scripts includes a take damage function which reduces the object's health. For instance, in the boss script, the take damage function decreases the boss's current health. The same function exists in the barrel and zombie scripts, which also adjust their health when cool. So, to deal damage to any of these objects, we need to first access the correct script attached to it, then call take damage. However, this approach has a drawback. Currently, we only have three damageable objects, so it's manageable. But imagine if there were 30 or 40 types of objects, it would quickly become tedious and inefficient to manually check for each one and call its take damage function. To solve this, we can use an interface. Interface allow us to create a common take damage method that all damageable objects can share, making the code simpler and more efficient. Let's take a look at how interfaces work. An interface in programming is like a set of rules or a contract that classes can agree to follow. The interface itself doesn't contain any actual code or logic. It's just a blueprint. For example, let's say I have an iAnimal interface. In this interface, I declare a function called animal sound. Now, any class that uses or inherits from this interface must include the animal sound method. If a class doesn't include this method, it will give an error because it's breaking the contract set by the interface. For instance, if I create a dog class that uses the iAnimal interface, the dog class has to contain an animal sound method. In this method, I can define any logic I want like log dog bark. Similarly, if I have another class called cat, it would also implement animal sound, and I can make it log cat meows. To define an interface, we use the interface keyword followed by the interface name. It's similar to declaring a class, but instead of the class keyword, we use interface. By convention, it's good practice to start interface names with I to avoid confusion, although this isn't mandatory. In our case, we can create an interface called I damageable, and in this interface, we define a take damage function. Then we have each of our boss, zombie, and barrel classes inherit from this interface, which means they all must contain the take damage method. Now, in our player's attack script, instead of getting each specific object script individually, we can simply use the iDamageable interface. Since boss, zombie, and barrel all inherit from iDamageable, each of them contains the take damage function. This way, we can grab the script by using the interface name and call take damage directly without checking for each specific script. By doing it this way, we don't need to update the player's attack code every time we add a new damageable object or enemy. Any new object that inherits from iDamageable can be damaged in the same way without any changes to our attack code. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this helpful and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.